So the big question is this, how do small businesses like yours, who feel like you're doing all the right things and going to all the right events, reach the federal buyer in a way that helps you win more contracts? That is the question, and this is the place to get your answers. My name is Neil McDonald. Welcome to the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Okay, let's get started. I want to welcome you to the GovCon Chamber. This is our site. You can take a look at the site for sure. In today's video, I want to go back to this whole concept of focusing and knowing what to focus on. So this is a very quick video I did back in 2018. Actually, it's an older video, but I never put it out there. But it's so relevant to a topic I was talking with somebody today about, hey, how do I sit there and get focused? Do I pay attention to the regulations or all these things that are out there? You got to know how to pay attention to the things that are most important to you. And this video drives right to it. Hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Hi, I'm Neil McDonald. I have a tip that I want to share with you today that uh, I hope helps you as you focus on all the activity that's before you and what you can actually get done. I was reading an article recently, uh, just yesterday, and this is um, late May 2018, just so people know I, I like putting dates into things I talk about. Uh, an article came out talking about the government's performance on small business contracting, and they gave themselves an A or an A plus even. And it's funny for those of us in that space, because as we watch it, we're, we're like, seriously, you're giving yourself an A when uh, women owned businesses, the performance has decreased, uh, hub zone certified companies, performance has decreased. Um, there's be these numbers that are going down. I'm not saying you don't deserve an A, but an A plus, or even I don't think you should be an A, you should be a B. But, um, and the tip is not about that. The tip about, the tip to me is, um, how I deal with that kind of information because that can come in and be frustrating to people or even knowing about the details behind it, you begin to get distracted. And I kind of consider that like world peace. Um, I want world peace, but I don't really think I can do anything about it to, to bring about world peace or to create world peace, right? Um, I'm, I got four-year-old twin boys. I'm still trying to create household peace, right? And uh, uh, Stephen Covey describes in his book, Seven Habits for Highly Effective People, the circle of concern and inside of the circle of concern are all these things, obviously, that concern us. So I mentioned world peace. Uh, we talk about the uh, A-plus status in the federal government on the contracting side. Um, I might be concerned about this fair play or that fair play. Um, but the reality is those are all just concerns. And Stephen goes on further to describe inside your circle of concern, you have this circle in the center that's called the circle of influence. And the circle of influence is what can you really do about it? Uh, so going back to my example about world peace, uh, I, I really can't do anything about world peace, right? Uh, you might butterfly uh, flap his wing syndrome over here or something and see something happen on world peace. But the reality is I'm not changing it and I'll leave that to the bigger powers to be. But what I think I can't influence is uh, household peace. I think I can bring about household peace in, uh, in my family. You know, I can work with my boys at four years old here and tell them they shouldn't be mouthing off to their mom or they should be doing what she says. Um, they should be playing a little better together or something. If I can help them understand the uh, proper behaviors, you know, I can bring about a little bit more peace within um, the household. If I can take them out on bike rides and really just get them super tired, uh, maybe they'll have, um, have spent too much energy to be that crazy in the household or something. I can work on that. I can influence the household world peace. It's the same thing with my job. I can influence how um, I perform in my job. I can reach out to contracting officers and try to uh, increase the, the contracts I have or the people who are around me, uh, other businesses, be able to try to help them increase their performance level. But really, I'm not going to do anything about the overall federal government's performance on government contracting. And so that's a circle of concern area. My tip going along with that to you is really understand what's in your circle of concern and what's in your circle of influence. The faster you just focus on your circle of influence, uh, the faster you start finding just more satisfaction in your day-to-day -day efforts. Um, you won't be banging yourself against a wall that is an, an item in your circle of concern that really you shouldn't be banging your head against because you really can't do anything about it. Um, but when you focus on your circle of influence and you just stay in there and you do a good job, you know, the stuff behind me, you, you see these little stickies, those are my circle of influence. The more you get done and the better you are in your circle of influence, eventually you'll find your circle of influence grows out. 
Um, I'll probably never tackle world peace, but I might be able to tackle uh, more issues. Like for example, I'm involved with the HubZone Chamber of Commerce. So I might be able to help more HubZone companies find a similar type of success that I'm trying to achieve for myself. Um, but still, I have to keep focused on what is in my circle of um, influence. And I, and I recommend that to you. So as you uh, start today, whatever day you're watching this, um, just reset yourself and, and let me focus on my circle of influence. And I think you'll be much happier and certainly you'll accomplish a lot more when you do that. My name is Neil McDonald. Go make it happen. If you found this content valuable, others will too. Please give it a thumbs up so they can find it. Um, if you'd like to connect with me personally, do so on LinkedIn. And then we often do uh, free training webinars and interview federal buyers. Sign up for the GovCon Chamber's email list to be notified about these opportunities right here on this website, www.govconchamber.com. And um, you can find that right here to sign up. There's a link right on the homepage. Finally, please consider becoming a sustaining member of the GovCon Chamber of Commerce. Help us bring this great content to you for a dollar a day. I'm Neil McDonald, wishing you great success.